This is the update on the Rover 71cc. I know it's been a minute, but I'm gonna tell you the issues I had. All right, uh, when I first put it in, uh, every time I started the engine, it flooded immediately. And then I um, had to keep taking the, the carburetor off the, the unflooded to get the, the, the gas out of the, the cylinder. And it kept doing it. And then when I finally got it started to do some heat cycles to break it in, it was the engine kept surging and everything. But the problem I noticed I had when the car was stopped, this thing here is used to hold the gas line in. I didn't have it pinched to anything, but once I let this up, the engine started running smooth again. It stopped flooding, so I dealt with that for a few days, so I finally got that issue. And then, my other issue was once I got started it, after I did the heat cycles, once I started it, the clutch housing broke. This is the one that came with it. It shredded right apart. So I had to wait a week before I get a new clutch housing in. And then when I got the clutch housing in, the engine kept sliding out of place. I said, why every time I move it, it kept sliding out of place? Even though I put block tight on there, I dealt with that for about a week and trying to see what was going on. But then I got some red lock tight and I left it sit up for 24 hours. And after I let it sit up for 24 hours, now I can finally uh, run it. And uh fitting me issue. All right, down here, this uh, plastic uh, brace here. I had to shave it down so this can fit. So if you have a metal one, you probably have to do some modifications to this this case here. This, you probably shave it down the other way. And right here, the bracket that came with it, 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 it was a tight fit and it eventually broke. I had enough space where I can drill a hole here and use a just a gutter or tie down to tie this pipe right back in the place and it's working pretty good. But otherwise, that right there was a big gap right there. It just didn't fit. So it's a fit in the issues with the uh, pipe. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the videos with this thing running. <clears throat> and me trying to tune it. So I don't know. I probably need some help with that, those who are good at tuning. But I cannot get this engine to rev over 13,000 RPM. The engine that came with it, the 32 cc's, uh, I got 13.9 out of that with no tune. I didn't have to touch any uh, needles on that engine. It, it revved, it, and I never had to touch it at all. You know, neither. But I can't get this to rev over 13,000 RPMs at all. And I know it should be uh, revving around about the same. Is that uh, is that uh, 32 cc? But they have a whole lot more torque. And uh, I, I wanted it for torque because. Eventually, when I get it running right, I want to put these big wheels on. And that engine should pull these wheels with no problems. I'm going to have to do some modifying to get it in there, but this is what I'm going to put in there. So I'm going to show you the videos of me trying to tune it. Me starting it. To, also, the engine has no problem starting it. Once you choke it right here, you pull it, it'll pop. Unchoke it usually about the second or third pull it starts right up and it runs, you know, no problems at all. So I don't have no uh, engine with the uh, the engine running or starting at all. But those who are uh, master tuners, maybe you can give me some pointers or anything. You can see me in the videos, me trying to tune this thing and running it, but I can't get it over 13,000 RPM. My 45 cc, I got that the uh, 24,000. Uh, RPMs, of course, the one that came with it, the 32 cc. I, I, uh, my tachometer uh, uh, got to just 13,000 on here, so I know it can do better. I just probably me a tuning issue. I may mean, don't know if it's the filter. I tried to take the foam off to get a little bit more air, but I still can get more out of it. I don't know, may I need a velocity stack? I don't know. All right, here you go to videos. Thanks for tuning in.